All right, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we got house calls today with the MedStar Health Cancer Network, Dr. Shweta Kurian, medical oncologist and hematologist at MedStar Franklin Square and MedStar Health. Bella, you're all over the place. Yes, I am. <laughs> In the studio with us today, and we're talking about HER2 positive breast cancer. What is that, Dr. Kurian? So, basically, these are receptors that are found on the surface of the breast cancer cells. These are proteins that help send signals into the cell to help divide and, you know, growth of the cells. They're present in normal cells too, but in HER2 positive breast cancer, as they say, there is increased amount of these receptors on the surface of the cell. So there is more signal going inside the cell. The cells keep dividing and dividing and form tumor cells. They tend to be more aggressive than okay. other cancers. But when you find that you have a HER2 receptor, you can then target that particular receptor and treat it accordingly. And this is interesting because people think of breast cancer as one thing, but there's many types of breast cancer. What percentage of them are these HER2? So uh, HER2 basically is about 20 to 30% of breast cancers. You have the ER positive, the PR positive, which are the estrogen progesterone positive receptors. And then you have the HER2 receptor. So if you look at these breast cancers, they behave very differently depending on the type of receptors they have. The ERPRs are less aggressive, the HER2s and the uh, triple negatives, if they don't have any receptors, are probably the most aggressive ones. So it's the pathologist who tells us whether the tumor actually has the HER2 receptor or not. They do certain testing, and when the report comes back to us, it says that the tumor has this receptor up there. HER2 treatment, how is that different from other types of breast cancer? It's actually, you know, in 2006 was the what time when the first medication hit the market for treating HER2 positive cancers. You have Herceptin, which actually targets the HER2. The name Herceptin is actually telling you where it acts. Mm -hmm. There are lots of other medications that have been approved since Pertuzumab or uh, uh, Progetta, uh, Ketsila. Lepadinib and many more are in the making right now. And these medications have changed the way these tumors are treated now. It used to be that these are more aggressive, but now because you have a targeted medication to target these tumors, patients with HER2 positive breast cancers tend to do well. And so medication just specifically for that cancer, that, that tumor. That's correct, right, yes. That would make it more effective, I would think. Yes, yeah. it surely does. You know, patients do much better because it's targeted. Mm -hmm. The response rates are much higher because we can use these targeted medications and earlier patients used to have high recurrence rates because of HER2 positive tumors but now because of these medications that has come down it's actually considered good to have a HER2 receptor because you can target it and treat it very very specifically that is good news that is surely good news yes. all right Dr. Curian thanks so much one of our many experts in the studio she's gonna leave us and she's gonna go right next door to take your calls the number is 410-481-2222 house calls here at WMER2 news Jamie all right Kelly we